you are you at a point where you're consuming content purely to store it as reference points for future engagements and conversations? Almost every, almost everything I do in pop culture is entirely for that purpose. It's not just in a conversation, it's as an educator in the conversation. Okay, so, so uh, I'm not just doing it to be the life of a party, I'm doing it so that I can communicate knowledge, wisdom, insight, science better because we all are pop culture fluent. That's the definition of pop culture. That's what pop culture means. You know who Beyonce is, even if you never heard any of her songs. You've heard the name. You know, you know th there's certain cultural commonalities. Yeah. And if I plug into those cultural commonalities, think of it as a scaffold. You walk in, we, we greet each other, and you walk in with a scaffold, and I take a look at that scaffold. So, okay, now I take science, wisdom, insight, logical thinking, rational thinking, and I clad your scaffold with that content. And you will absorb it because I'm attaching it to something you already care about. Right. And then when we're done, you walk away, and now you've got stuff attached to something you care about, and ideally, you'll never forget it. My best example of this is I was at home, uh, I, some ended at 5.30, I'm channel surfing, and 5.45 comes around, is a football game that just ended, and I'm waiting for a movie to come on at six, okay? Football game just ended, but it ended in a tie. So they gotta go into a 15 minute overtime. Okay, I'll fit that in. Watch an overtime in football, I can't be bad. So I'm watching it, and after the requisite exchange of possession before it becomes sudden death, we're in sudden death mode. And then the Cincinnati Bengals come within 55 yards of the goalpost, and they go to kick a field goal. So they do, and they kick it, and the ball rotates up, and there it goes. And it hits the left upright, and it careens in for the win. And I said, whoa, wait a minute, let me check on that. So I made a quick calculation, and then I tweeted. The game-winning field goal in the Bengals, I forgot who they were playing the game, was aided by a third of an inch deflection to the right brought upon by Earth's rotation. <laughs> People lost their minds over there. Oh, but there was a headline in a Cincinnati newspaper, God helped Cincinnati win the thing. So, so my point here is, it's very simple. In that tweet, I don't have to explain what football is what a field goal is. I don't have to explain any of that. What overtime is, you came to the table knowing this. And so I added to it something that's kinda cool, kinda interesting. And it's the second tweet that I said, oh by the way, this is called the Coriolis force, and it's what makes uh, hurricanes uh, rotate yeah. in the directions that they do. So that's like the second level information. Yeah. First level information, the rotation of the earth basically won that game for Cincinnati. Second tier, you've got to get a little di deeper I get dive. a little deeper. Once I got your attention, then, yeah. now I get to throw in a little, a little Coriolis force.